My current goal is to infiltrate another egregore, to build relationships with people of another culture. Right now I'm being perceived more as a stranger. My physical appearance is different. What inner processes, approach to relationships, principles of interaction with another culture should I consider on the magical level to make them trust me and be perceived as one of them, or as a friend? So look, Anastasia, don't mix apples with oranges. There are two connectional aspects in the social world. They are cultural and civilizational. Culture comes from gods, and civilization comes from people. Well, also from gods, but of a different kind. Culture divides people by nations, races, blood, kins, families. In other words, by traditional formations that form from below. Civilization doesn't differentiate by all these parameters. Civilization forms from above. It has different parameters, such as law obedience, following the rules, written laws, adherence to certain ritualistic forms of behavior, usually of a social nature, and rarely of a religious one. The only exceptions are Abrahamic religions. They demand it. Abrahamic religions don't create culture, but rather civilization, and consequently religious laws, meaning secular laws, are formed based on civilization. Thus, we see two ways, two requirements, cultural and civilizational one. The civilizational path implies that you need to assimilate civilizationally with the race, with the tribe you currently live with, and become a hundred percent one of them. You need to obey the laws in force on this land explicitly. I emphasize explicitly with your head held high, so that everyone could see that it is your great honor and pride to obey the laws of this country then people around you will experience an instinctive fear of the law. They will perceive you as someone who is probably in a better position than they are, because you are not just following the laws, but you do it as explicitly as possible. Therefore, from a civilizational point of view, at this higher level, it would be impossible for them, physically impossible, to perceive you as a stranger. But there is also the second Dionysian aspect, the cultural one. At this level, decisions are made not by people, but by spirits and gods. And here you will have to reach an agreement with them. There are spirits of a place, there are lars, there are keepers of the kin. For example, you live in a family that is not related to you by blood. First of all, you must reach an agreement with the kin's keeper, and of course, with the regina of the kin. Through meditation, mentally, bring offerings to the graves, to a sacred location on this land, to the spirits of the place. Be sure to please them. Read a spell or poem in their local language. They love this a lot. Take up a gaze. Make a commitment to clean out the forest, to bring strong alcohol and pour it on this particular stone, to learn a thousand more words a year, or something like that, but definitely something related to that culture. You will establish contact with the keepers of the culture, the spirits of the place, and they, in turn, will send an invisible impulse into the minds of the people whose blood they control, stating that you are one of them. This way, you will approach this issue from both sides, on the one hand in terms of civilizational algorithms, and on the other hand in terms of cultural algorithms. You will receive an approval here, and you will receive an approval there, everything will come together into a single point of acceptance. And not just a simple acceptance, but rather a complete one. Because the civilizational acceptance will be based on fear, and the other one based on love. When these two concepts are combined, it's just an explosion of the brain. Try it, and let me know how that worked out.